Introduction to Vectors Let's now understand how to represent direction with the help of quadrant bearing. So we just in the last few videos we learned about bearing angles or the true bearing. The true bearing was from north measured clockwise and always given to three places right north being 0, 0, 0 degrees south being 180 degrees right now we will do quadrant bearing right quadrant bearing is represented as a deviation from north south line so with this example we'll explore quadrant bearing force of 20 newton is applied at an angle of so we read like this 30 degrees west of north that is how it is to be read okay it may be n 30 degree west but it should be read as 30 degrees west of north so let's read this statement once again force of 20 newton is applied at an angle of 30 degrees west of north okay so i've written here for you read as 30 degrees west of north now that is how we represent our direction with quadrant bearing now as you can see it has basically three components one two and three the direction it is measured from is the first component so quadrant bearing normally we are measuring direction from north or south it is basically from north south line right so this is north for us and this is south so direction it is measured from in this particular example we are measuring the direction from north the angle so deviation how much deviation from that place we are being circular right angular it is 30 degrees that is the angle that's the second component and the third is the direction towards which it is measured west in this case it means that we are measuring our angle with respect to north the angle of rotation is 30 degrees so we rotate from here let's say 30 degrees right it could be either way right the third part says in which direction so that direction towards which it is west so it is towards west in our case right so that is what the variation is and therefore our geometric vector will look something like this do you understand so that is how we get the direction for a vector when it is represented in quadrant bearing form do you understand now so these are the three components as you know quadrant bearing is deviation from north south line so the first component could be either north or south right that is the only possibility so the other possibility is south and the second component is an acute angle it could be from 0 to 90 degrees and the third component could be east or west right so, so that is how we represent direction with the help of quadrant bearing right now when you draw your geometric vector here in that case the length of the vector is the representation of the magnitude so we have 20 newtons right so how do you represent 20 newtons here so for that we have a scale so let me write down here my scale say scale is 1 centimeter equals to 10 newtons correct so 20 newtons will be 2 centimeters let's say this is my 1 centimeter from here to here and that's my second centimeter so it becomes 20 newtons right so I can write here as force equals to 20 newtons correct force is the vector and the direction I've given it is 30 degrees west of north do you get it now 30 degrees west of north so that is our representation in quadrant bearing form for the given vector force of 20 newtons do you get it okay question 2 is sketch a geometric vector described above which I just did for you correct so what I would like you to do is 
I'll write down another vector as a problem for you and let's say displacement that is my question displacement let's represent it by the vector s of 35 kilometer and the direction I'll write just making it different right how will you read this 50 degrees east of south okay so the question is identify the three components and describe the direction of the given vector that's the first question right and the second part is to represent it right right sketch a geometric vector for the given displacement vector correct so try this question and then let's move on thanks and all the best